speaker. Right, next is item 11, which is policy, strategy and finance. And this is the local service agreements, looking at the council's performance for the 2015-2016 financial year. <coughs> One, one of the main items which came out of this was looking at the sort of crime data integrity inspection. This is where Hampshire Constabulary came out as, um, I think it was the worst force in, in the country in terms of crime reporting. So it does look as if there's been a vast increase in crime uh, of approximately a third in 2015 when compared to 2014. Uh, so it's you know, clearly isn't actually the case that there's been a vast increase in, in real crime, but certainly there's been a vast increase in, in the reporting levels of that crime. And there are a couple of examples in there in terms of you know, a pupil bashing another pupil at school, and that would normally be dealt with with school and not recorded. Those incidents do now get recorded. And that can similarly broken windows, rather bizarrely, are now recorded as attempted burglaries rather than simply broken windows, which might be vandalism or, or whatever. So that, there's one issue there. Uh, a couple of other issues are highlighted there in terms of the leisure centre, which has got a significant number of extra visitors. And of course, that's probably due to the refurbishment works that were going on at the time. Uh, and the uh, housing repair service is also highlighted there. So this is looking at our performance through the year in many areas and it's really uh, just something that we want to uh, note this evening. Probably worthwhile though just dwelling briefly on, on housing as an issue because of course housing, I mentioned in setting up the panel earlier, things are changing there so we are going to have to have a look at our corporate priorities as well because the government is now changing the emphasis considerably from provision of social housing for rent, which is something we, we still need to do, but it looks as if the funding is no longer going to be available in quantity to do it, and a move to outright home, home ownership through the provision of starter homes. So clearly that, that's a big change, and that's something that we're going to have to look at in terms of our priorities once that group has, has actually done its work. Anyway, our, our priorities as they stand at the moment are summed up here in all of the statistics in terms of how we're doing. You can see some significant improvements from the Vanguard interventions which are taking place as well across some of those services. So has anyone got any questions or queries they'd like to raise? Councillor Carver. Thank you. Just, just a couple. I mean, it was, it's interesting the, the point about um, Hampshire Police and their reporting. It's been interesting this week that I saw it and I'm not exactly the same position apparently, so I think it's just going across the whole of the sort of forces. Um, the, the other point was really an observation uh, where we're talking about safe and healthy place to live and work. And we talk about promoting good health, working with Fairham and Gospel Clinical Commission Group to improve access to health facilities. I just find that comment a bit, um, a bit uh, um, difficult to, to grasp because it appears to me that there is um, no improvement whatsoever. So, to uh, debate that one rather an observation perhaps. Thank you. I'm sure you're right. It's an important area. Of course, it's one where we can have influence, but we don't have statutory responsibility, unfortunately, to bring about change. You know, gone are the days where we had a member from this council sitting on a on an area health authority with real influence, rather than just um, trying to trying to bring some influence to bear on, on health authorities. Possibly another, another issue that we do need to be looking at as well, which I know Councillor Cartwright has had a look at and I did this afternoon too, and that's some th an issue is around uh, the need for the public places order and, and the numbers of people that we do have in the town centre now causing difficulties. And I was behind a couple of premises this afternoon looking around seeing piles of syringes and things for smoking drugs and injecting drugs and we clearly need those powers that we're asking our residents to support uh, and to be working with the police and our community safety people to get some of these areas cleared up. And I think that's something again we'll need to look at in terms of our priorities later this year. Thank you. 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 Thank you